Hello, everybody. Joel Cheeseman here, editor at Recruiting Daily. Here again with our resident sorcerer, Dean DaCosta. Uh, Dean, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you? Outstanding, outstanding. I understand you're going to show us Zen Prospect today. Yes, I am. Uh, Zen away. Prospect is yep. Zen Prospect is pretty new. Uh, it's a Chrome, it started as a Chrome extension, as you see, October 3rd, 2016. So that means it's all of 10 days old. Um, well, that's the most updated version, but it's li less than, it's not very old. As you can see, there's only, you know, 35 reviews, and so far people like it. It's, it's pretty good. So here's what we got. This is the Zen Prospect page, and the big deal is downloading a Chrome extension. That's the big deal here. Uh, it has a dashboard, keeps track of stuff, all this neat stuff. You can contact people through it. You can do all sorts of neat stuff. But here's where the magic happens, in my opinion, in Gmail. Zen Prospect is right there, and as you can see, when you do it, it says search for leads, and enable email tracking templates and stuff, and enable Salesforce Cyber. Now, I don't use Salesforce, so I don't care about it. I could use that for uh, for tracking templates and all, and reminders and stuff. So that's a good tool to use to remind you to contact people, to um, have templates ready to go, and everything like that. We want to search for leads, though. So as you can see, I've got two companies sitting here. We're going to actually pick on Yahoo, and I'm going to. I put in the Yahoo domain, it found 8,122 contacts at Yahoo. It's showing me this group here. Great, but you see, I want a little more. And since I was talking to someone recently about branding people, we're going to use branding. And as you can see, we just found a branding person. Her name is Megan Rose. Let's check it. Oh, look at that. We've got Megan Rose. We've got all this. It's actually trying to find and verify her email. That's probably work would be my guess. But here's her LinkedIn page. So I can always go to her LinkedIn page and do anything I want there. That's an example of what the tool to do. It is a sourcing tool and contact tool and email management tool combined that works out of Gmail and does some really neat stuff. Like I said, the big deal is that to me is this. So we're going to get out of this and get out of this. We're going to go to, uh, we're still going to pick on Yahoo, but we're going to pick on something other than branding. We're going to pick on just the word data. And it's interesting that the data scientist pulled up because that's exactly what I had in my mind. Data scientists. Look at these data scientists that are currently working at Yahoo. Let's go to Thea, Thiago Martins. Instantly we get there. He's in Norway. And instantly we can get access to his LinkedIn profile. So let's prep that. Just make sure the link works because, you know, hey, you never know. Links can sometimes get up. It works. Yay. Go back. Eventually, it's verifying. It goes through a very long, extensive verifying process. Eventually, an email address will show up. Uh, I can tell you that. Sometimes it could take a minute. Sometimes it could take as long as 10 minutes because they're really trying to verify the email. And before they'll show you one, they actually try to find personal first. If not, then they resort to your work. So now, that's it, why it takes it so just, longer. Is it just looking for email, or is it also going to bring in a lot just, of other data? Nope, just email. Okay. Purely just email. Any other data it would find would be social data, would be listing of social sites right there. But most of this particular tool is cross referencing LinkedIn. And that's that's basically the tool in a nutshell. Now a lot of people are like, okay, well that's not a lot, but is it is it really? I mean if if you're working for Google and you need a data scientist to work on their search engine, who better to get it from than Yahoo? Who is or probably ben. very poachable at the moment. Exactly. And there you go. And mind you, I said data. If I added scientists, I probably would get even more results because they would be all scientists. Scientists, unless I spelled it wrong. Yep, there we go. Yeah, so now all of these are data scientist people, not just data people. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, there's, there's what, about the 15, 12, 15? There's 11, so we got all 11. So that's all 11 data scientists at Yahoo that it has at Yahoo. That doesn't mean there aren't others, but these are the ones at you. And he's in Sunnyvale, California. Now, you're, when you search data, Data is a pretty general term. It's probably a lot of body copy and resumes all over the place. So do you know yeah, what, this, what Zen Prospect is searching? This is searching for titles. Titles, okay. Not, you know, look at the titles. These are the titles. So let's go back to uh, the one we just saw, Scott Weald, Senior Search Data Scientist. That's his title. It's searching based on titles, not on words in a resume or in a profile. It's searching for their title. Now, did you select that option or that filter, or is that automatic? Oh, that's the way it is. See, enter company name or domain. We get to there. Go to Yahoo. It says search by title or name. That's its choice. It's either title or the name. If you okay. know the person you're after, you can search by name. Otherwise, you got to search by title. There is no in between. Very cool. Which is great because, frankly, that's all I really give a flip about. Now, someone's probably saying, well, when do I need a Java developer? I can't just search under developer. No, you can't, but I bet you if you search under Java, wow, look at that, four people. I'm, really, calling, I mean, I'm calling her Jaha. Immediately. 
<laughs> yeah, well, I'm calling sure the guy below that with no, with no name. Right. Yeah, I'm be- guessing that came off his LinkedIn profile. He's in Kansas. Let's see. Let's play this game. Yeah, that came off his LinkedIn profile. Look, ha-ha, jaha, blah, blah, blah. Sorry, this profile can't be displayed. That tells you it may not even be a real profile. <laughs> not that so, but yeah, I mean, or the one below it where it doesn't say much nothing other than the fact, well, I knew it was China based on the language there, so I knew that already. Let's see what happens there. I bet you it's another one that doesn't can't be displayed because of some. Oh no, it actually got displayed. Yay! Okay, whatever. Uh, but you know, my point being, yeah, you can. So let's go back and let's do it one more. Let's go since we're talking about uh, Java. Let's get to Google where there'll be a lot more Java people. And let's do that. Let's just put in the word Java. Thirty-one people. Two of them are the same and stupid. Gotcha. So there you go. I mean, it's a good tool. It's a good sourcing tool. It does what you ask it to do. And remember, it's not just the sourcing part. It's also the part that it allows you to track emails. It'll have templates, something that Gmail doesn't have on its own. It'll it'll send them at a specific time. It'll have reminders of, of when you need to reply or follow up with people. It can actually help turn your Gmail into a, into a actual mini, I don't want to say a CRM, but kind of like one mm-hmm. because you can organize things a little better and stuff. So it's a really cool little tool. So there you go. Very and that is... Zen Prospect. Any uh, pricing on this, or is it just so new that there is no pricing currently? We're going to go with it so new there is no pricing currently, because I have looked many times and cannot find anything on pricing yet. I'm guessing there is none. Uh, I can almost guarantee you, Maverick, I can guarantee you that at some point it will be pricing, but there will always be a percentage free. 